American author Philip K. Dixon once wrote, Reality denied comes back to hurt you. Many people live in pretense because they are scared of the unknown. They would instead act like who they are not, expressing a different feeling to feel good about themselves. However, no matter how much you try to cover up the truth about yourself, someday you will have to face it, forcefully and sometimes painfully. In this video, I will be sharing with you 13 brutal universal truths that most people refuse to admit about themselves. 1. You are proud. Pride comes before a fall is a common saying that even little kids know. It is so easy to point out pride as the reason for the fall of others. However, many individuals find it difficult to admit that they are prideful. The issue with pride is that it is sneaky and very hard to see in the mirror. It sneaks in and you don't even realize it until it has already caused you to fall. Generally, pride has been associated only with people who are arrogant and boastful. Still, pride manifests itself in many other ways, such as feeling entitled, blaming others for your faults, the refusal to admit wrongdoing, ask for help or seek forgiveness, and so many other ways you may ordinarily ignore. 2. You get envious of other people's success in a bid to avoid being seen as evil, most people lie about their true feelings even to themselves. Inasmuch as you ought to do away with the feelings of envy, you also do not have to lie about its existence. Most times when you cover up how you truly feel and act like the emotion is not there, you give room for it to develop into more toxic emotions. This is more dangerous. Sri Avinash Du once wrote, Cultivate love in your heart and the negative emotions will disappear. A genuine love, first for yourself and then for others, has the potency of turning ill feelings like envy into positive motivation. 3. Your motives are not always genuine. Humble bragging is a common trait among many individuals. Most times, they tend to complain about situations with the motivation that you will see their efforts and appreciate them. Showing off the good deeds rendered to someone in a deceitful and pity-seeking way is a pointer that your motives are not real. Continually reminding a person of the favor you did to him or her makes your reason questionable. Admitting to having ulterior motives for many of the things you do is often tricky, but pretense is worse. It's not out of place to demand commendation or compensation for a task carried out. However, it ought not to be done in a pretentious way. 4. You expect too much from others No matter how much we try to put aside the entitlement mentality, there exists a part of us that expects a lot from certain people and gets hurt when they act otherwise. Placing hopes on people can be heartbreaking, but don't be scared or ashamed to admit that you expected too much from them. 5. You are a fault finder Being a fault finding nag does not sound good at all. Little wonder why many individuals who are nags no doubt never admit to that they are pesters. When you complain over small things and always seek for errors in tasks carried out by others, you are a fault-finding nag. 6. You don't practice the advice you give to others. You may not admit, but if you are sincere, you will observe that advice do not reflect in your life. You will instead join the crowd that stands alone. We live in a world where people practice, do what I say, not what I do. A Twitter user once tweeted that everyone has become a counselor or motivational speaker on social media. This tweet is not far from the truth. Social media seems to be an opportunity for people always to render guidance to others, often unsolicited. Everyone has something to say about everything and they are not even conscious enough to check themselves if they leave according to the advice. If you are too scared to incorporate your advice into your own life, then you should not be given that advice at all. 7. You don't want to engage in therapy Accepting the fact that one suffers from any mental, psychological or emotional issue is something that most people do not like to do. Well, this is not a surprise because even those who are insane Tearing their clothes and destroying stuff still never admit to being sick. In fact, to them, everyone else is sick, and they are the only sane people. However, 
One thing to understand is that visiting a therapist does not mean you are mentally deranged. A therapist is different from a psychiatrist. But if you refuse to see a therapist and your psychological problems compound, you may be compelled to visit a psychiatrist. 8. You care more about what other people think than about what you think. I will do whatever makes me happy. I don't care what anybody thinks is a resolution we make to ourselves regularly. But don't you care? You do. That's why you refuse to wear that sluttish gown and why you cut your hair low even though deep down you want a ratty. It takes so much to get to the point where one does not care about what others think and many individuals who parade themselves not to care are lying to themselves. 9. You're terrified of being seen for who you are so you seek validation to feel more accepted. She has pretty eyes and nose and her face is perfectly spared. Still, each time she looks at the mirror, the only thing she sees is the pimples on her face. So she made a mask which she uses to cover her face whenever she steps out. You may be wondering, why does she see only the pimple? Why can't she appreciate and accept herself for who she is? Well, do you know that many people are like her? And just as she covers her face, they continually hide to their true self-nature under the garment of who they are not. Many people do not like to stay true to themselves because they are scared. However, it is when you accept yourself for who you are that you can be who you want to be. 10. You live with the thought of what will people say. Have you ever debunked an action because the idea about what people will say crushed your mind? You may decide not to admit it, but the truth remains that many of the decisions you take are somewhat based on the possible perception of others around us. Although it has its negative sides, giving thoughts to the reactions of others before carrying out a task can be beneficial sometimes. It is okay to reason people's opinion before acting. However, what should be paramount to you is doing what is right in the right way and at the right time. 11. You lie. No one ever agrees to be a liar. However, almost everyone bends the truth at certain times. Is there any difference between being on my way and I am close to you? There is a difference. Being on your way does not mean that you are near your destination. You can be on your way and still be around your house. Well, from the bedroom to the veranda is the way out. Every day we twist little truths like this, yet we get hurt when people lie to us. If you want the truth, always tell the truth. 12. You are not as lovely as you think you are. A lot of people tend to see themselves as nice to a fault. When an ugly situation arises, they act like victims of circumstances, like the only crime they commit is being too nice. Nevertheless, you are not as lovely as you think you are. You may be generous, kind and welcoming in reality, but in your mind it is often overblown. Nobody is perfect. There are times you want to share and other times withhold. When your self-centered action produces a negative result, do not play the victim. Instead, own up to that one selfish act and attempt to fix things. 13. You were scared of letting go of toxic relationships or jobs. A lot of people remain in abusive relationships using the statement, I still love him or her as a cover-up. So many others claim to be satisfied in their workplace whereas the job makes them unhappy. Letting go most times seems like a hard thing to do. Deep within, you are fed up. But you do not consider yourself worthy of having something better, so you rather stay. Nonetheless, staying in a place that makes you sad is worse than letting go. At some point, you've got to listen to the words of T.D. Jakes and just let go of things that cause you pain. It is in letting go of the wrong things that you find what you truly deserve. No one ever becomes a better person or assumes a better position without first admitting the flaws they have. If you must grow, then you must be bold enough to accept even the hardest of truths about yourself.